What's up guys, the Rish here, welcoming you back into another video where today I have got my hands on this Sonoff T1 Wi-Fi plus RF wall touch switch, which is fantastic to add automation in your living. Well, with the help of this particular product, I can turn on the lights with touch of a button or by using my mobile phone as well as Amazon Alexa. Alexa. Turn off studio lamp. Alexa, turn on studio. Voila. So that's how easy and straightforward it is, guys. In this video, we're going to go through each and everything, how you can have the full setup like that. So with that all being said, let's get into it. So as usual, first, we're going to see what comes with this Sonoff T1 wall touch switch following with the installation and the setting up procedure. Then by the end of this video, you will decide yourself that is this product for your home automation or not. So let's go ahead with the unboxing. It includes one quality pass certificate and a user manual which provide you all the instructions you wanted to know that how you can install, wire and install the application for this particular touch switch. So now here we have our Sonoff 3 channel wall touch switch. Right in the front here you have got three capacitive touch buttons and top right here a LED light to show you the status of connectivity with the Wi-Fi. Front of the switch come with the tempered glass and very shiny. I hope it's going to match with the interior of your home. Now all the connection and their detail is available on the back along with the input range and the output as well. Now there's an important thing which you should remember that this switch must be powered by live and the neutral. If you don't have it, try not to go for it. Now to install this, I'll be following the instruction available in user manual for this three channel. As you can see that it also requires neutral and live which I have got available. So as a three outputs which I have two. To mount this wall switch, we need to open it up which will be very easy by using a screwdriver and opening it right there you have to be very careful when you're using the tools i just managed to mark on mine which is looks ridiculous to be honest with you now so now let's go ahead with the installation process first thing you have to make sure to do is that turn off your main circuit breaker previously i also had this three channel switch fitted on my installation so all the wiring which i need for this son off system is already in it actually starting with the live and neutral and three lives which will be going to the light switches. So let's open it up right in the base of it and twist it. There you go. Right in there open without any problem. So right in here, I have got the live, neutral and three light connections as you can see that which we will be connecting on our Sonoff 3 channel switch. And you can also see the difference in quality. This is Sonoff and that is an old manufacturer which I had before. Not really reliable at all to be honest with you guys. Now if you're not capable or confident enough to do electrical work, don't touch it. But before you do it, make sure you check it. There's no AC voltage because electric can kill guys. it all together voila so here is your sonar switch ready and powered up when you see this wi-fi light flashing that means you need to connect it with your wi-fi network you're going to also see that it all illuminating as well which is pretty good to be honest with you voila 
Now to connect this sort of with your Wi-Fi network, you need an app. App can be downloaded from Google Play Store as well as from Apple Store. An app is called EV Link and the process of installation is very straightforward as well. Once app is installed, open it up. Now in here, you need to enter your credential. If you don't have any account with them, it's very easy to register it as well. So once you installed, registered and logged into your EV Link application, you need to add the T1, son of T1 in it. To do so, you need to click onto this plus button and you need to make sure that on your T1 switch, a Wi-Fi LED light should be flashing with the three second on. So if it's not, I'll show you how you can put it in appearing mode. Now on your wall touch switch, keep hold of number one button for a couple of seconds. Where you're going to hear this beep and the flashing light as you can see right in there. Then you come down to your application and click next. Now in here you need to type in the credential for your Wi-Fi. It only supports Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz. Once you press the next button, now it's a waiting time. There we go, found a second generation device. Here is our name and it's registered. Now, if you'd like to change its name, you can do that as well. Okay, I'm going to call it Studio. Okay, right in there. Click Next and click Complete. Got it. Now, to access more in your switch itself, you can go in here, you can turn off all together, schedule it, and timer it if you want to. It makes the light control very easy. Now, if you'd like to change the names, like channel 1, channel 2, or channel 3 to something else, click right in there, go down into the settings. Now, in here, you can change the light, light 1, light 2, light 3. Now, changing the channel name would help you to configure your EV link in your Alexa or Google Assist system. Now, after installing the app, let's configure our Sonoff T1 with the Alexa, where first you need to open up Amazon Alexa app, which will be available on your smartphone device. Hmm. Now, once app is open, click onto this top right hand corner and scroll down into skills and games. Now, click onto the search tab and type in EV link. Okay, it's exactly same as the app which we installed from Google Play Store. Click on it and enable to use. Now in here, you need to type the same credentials which you created in the beginning of this video and then click login. Once this skill is successfully configured, you're going to see this screen. Now close this window. Then click on discover devices. At this stage, you're going to wait for a couple of seconds and it will show you all discovered devices on your network. There we go. Now you can choose the device. Now in the list of discovered devices, you can see all the lights which I've added, which is studio back lamp, studio middle lamp and studio front lamp and the studio itself. Now. You can set them up, okay, I'm going to go to st Studio Backlight, I selected it and set up. Okay, you can also choose the group as well if you want to, I would like to skip that process. Okay, you can go through the second one and set up this device too and skip the group. Continue, that's right. Now, front. Okay, skip the device, continue. Now studio, it's very important to select a studio as well if you'd like to turn all lights on at the same time or turn off at the same time. Continue. So there we go. Everything is fully set up and up and running kind of. Now let's give it a try. Alexa, turn on studio front lamp. Okay. Wow. Not bad. It By works. the way. Going forward, I could give shorter replies and sometimes just play this sound. That is a good one. Would you prefer that? Yes, I would. All right. I've turned on brief mode where I talk less. 
You good. can always turn it off in the Alexa app under settings. That's good, isn't it? You don't want to listen to women too much. Anyways, let's get down to our main point. Now let's try for the middle lamp. Alexa, turn on studio. Sorry, what device? Studio lamp middle. That's not bad. Alexa, turn off studio. There you go. All lights are turned off now. Not bad. Now, Alexa, turn on studio. All lights are on. Perfect. It just works, guys, without any trouble. So that will be all, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now you have seen it that using Sonoff T1, I have created a very small home automation project which will help me to turn on lights of my studio. This is exactly the same thing which you see most of the time where I have got a 120 inch screen along with sound system which is in a mess at the moment. You can see the hell of a mess right in here in front of me which is my studio kind of. So I hope you guys are going to like this video. If you do so hit the like button and subscribe for more and tell me what kind of automation video you would like to see. I'll try to compile one of them each day by day. Bye guys. See ya.